Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can fancy up your rhythm guitar playing by adding in alternating bass notes to a one, four, five progression in A. To do this, I've written a short little song with just one verse and a chorus, and I'm gonna invite you all to collaborate with me and help me finish the tune. Let's get started. Shadows through the trees. It is there that faces gather and forget about the day. They will drift in all directions as they find a place to lay. I'll take a day of no decisions. It doesn't matter either way to the great Atlantic Ocean. All that counts is how you sway. I'm drifting on. I'm drifting on. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the tune. Let's take a close look at the techniques going into each of these chord changes. So we start off with the A major chord. And this is a technique that you can apply to the whole chord progression A major, D major, E major, our 1, 4, 5 progression in the key of A. Okay, so looking at the A major chord, the technique is pretty simple. We simply pluck the A string and do a strum down from the D string to the high E string. That's followed by an open E string and the same strum from the D string to the high E string. Put those together and it sounds like this. A strum, E strum, A strum, E strum, A strum, E strum. Okay, and if you want to make this a little bit more fancy, we can just add a couple of upstrokes to the pattern. We have A down up, E down up, A down up, E down up, A down up, E down up. Okay, so the same concept can be applied to the D major chord. We're just gonna change the strings. We start off with an open D string, strum from the G string down. Next, it's an A string, and we strum from the G string down again. So we have D strum, A strum, D strum, A strum. And I'm being sure not to include my D string after I've picked my A, because I want the bass line to be very clear to the listener. So D, A. D, A, the strums in between, D strum, A strum, D strum, A strum. So consider that to be a rule in kind of country style strumming. Always strum beneath the roots that you're using for your alternating bass lines. Okay, so moving on to the E major chord, we're doing the same pattern that we had for A major, only we're going to flip our bass notes. So instead of going A strum, E strum, we're going E string strum, A string strum. So we have E strum, A strum, E strum, a strum. You can make that a little bit more fancy. Before going back to the A major chord. Now, for this song, I also added in an F sharp minor chord, which for some of you beginners out there may be a little bit tricky. You can also play this chord um, besides barring it and putting your third finger on the fourth fret and your pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. You can kind of shrink it down a little bit. Just uh, actually keep those fingers the same and just bar the G string, B string, and high E string. That'll be a little bit easier, a little bit more beginner friendly. And we're going to do the same exact pattern that we had for our D major chord. D strum, A strum. Okay, let's take a closer look at the right hand technique. This is the A major chord. A strum, E strum, A strum, E strum. With the upstrokes, A down up, E down up, A down up, E down up. Once again, notice that I'm not strumming any of the notes that are included in my alternating bass notes. I just wanna do A, and then from the D string strum, all the way down. A strum, E strum. 
onto the D major chord, we have D strum, A strum, D strum, A strum, with the upstrokes. All right, and notice how I made it swing there a little bit too, just with a little bit of syncopation. Onto the E chord. E strum, A strum, E strum, E down up, A down up, E down up, A down up. Again, not strumming through the A string because I want the, the bass line to be clearly defined to the listener. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you will find it useful in your own songwriting. Remember, you can help me finish this tune. All you need to do is use the video response feature here on YouTube, and you can post your creations on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Philly Guitar Lessons. I'm Rob from Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.